Just wanted to ask, um, a lot of times, you know, folks, they go to the bookstore and they browse and then they, you know, decide to pick up a book, they might pick up a book of yours and they open it and then they have this wonderful experience and then they consume it and then they put it away. Sometimes they go back to it, a lot of times they don't, but the one thing I think that a lot of people don't realize is the, uh, is the effort that it takes in order to write a book. Oh, I mean, at some level, I don't want to... I don't know if this word is as um, powerful in America as it is in England. I want to whinge about it. I don't want to complain. Oh, no, no, because not. actually I do a job that I completely love. Mm -hmm. And it isn't going out and uh, into a coal mine and mining coal. And it isn't standing and serving people at a shop counter for nine or ten hours a day. You know, it's, um, it's great, great work. The downside is it is so utterly absorbing and so utterly in your head that sometimes, sometimes actually the coal mine is not such a bad analogy because sometimes you do feel as if you've been in the dark at a coal face all day. You do feel that excluded and outside from the world. And I think the easiest way to describe it is to say, yes, with books like The Birth of Venus and In the Company of the Courtesan, probably a year in both of the life of those books is spent in libraries, right? So day after day, I'm in the British Library, great place to work, reading through the most interesting books, some of which are really pretty heavy, and making notes in order that I have enough information about the period in history that I want to bring alive, to have it in my head in order to write the story. And then, I like have to put all the notebooks aside and I have to sit and think of a story. It's a character and how they interact with another character and then other characters emerge and then the setting emerges and then what they feel emerges and what they want to do emerges and what they can't do and the way the world kind of impacts in on them. And then the story not only has to be truthful, emotionally truthful to who these people are, I want to read the story of a person's life who makes me imaginatively leap somewhere else. So I need to create a whole world in a whole other period of history with people with maybe 20, 25, 30 main characters and then the rest of the world. And then I have to make them do something exciting that makes you want to keep on turning the page. And then, I have to make the whole thing look effortless. And that really is the trick that I still cannot explain because it takes a huge amount of effort. And there are often times when I don't know what I'm doing. There are often, often times when I think I can't do it, when I'm really scared, when at the same point sometimes in every book I'll think, this is the one you shouldn't have started, Sarah, because this is the one you can't do.